What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you what's in my travel bag. And it's actually travel bags because I travel with three bags and that's all. In fact, I never check a bag. The two bags that you see here are all that I used when I traveled to Europe for two weeks last year. And I never need more than two bags and they're both carry on size. Okay, so the first bag that I love is this is a roller board. Again, it's small enough to carry on and it's made by a company called Away. The reason I like this bag is a couple things. One, it's super durable, but it's also really light. It has four casters, which is a must if you travel a lot. These two caster bags are no good. And it has TSA locks. You can see there, the zippers lock. And the best part, is it will charge two devices. So it has a built-in charger that is removable. You can see that. So I'll pop this out and throw it in one of my smaller bags uh, that I use during the day. So that's the Away bag. Now let's open it up. Now I'll give you a quick tour of the inside and talk about what I'm carrying here. So. Here is uh, a couple features about the Away bag that I like. It has a really good compression. Uh, I don't know what you call this, but it's, you can really smash your clothes down tight on this side. And then it's got a built-in little pocket sleeve here. On this side, I've got all kinds of good stuff. I, I always travel with a copy of my book, not because I want to read my book all the time, but to give to somebody. So you just never know who you're going to meet. And so I keep a copy of my book with me when I travel. The next thing in my bag is I bring a portable um, mini tripod for my iPhone. So if I meet someone that I want to interview, I can whip this thing up really quick. And it actually extends to about six feet, which is amazing. When it gets, I'll just show you. You can see how long that leg gets, right? So we can find a couch to sit on. I can set this up on a table or on the floor and shoot an interview with it. And it's super handy. This is the uh, Sunpack 4200 XL. And then this attachment was separate that I, I got both of these on Amazon. And I'll put links to everything that I talk about here in the show notes as well. So I threw that in the travel bag. I also like this. This is called the iGear Crystal Sound. This is a lav microphone, a lavalier microphone, but it's actually two in one. So there's two lavaliers, you can see that, but they go into one jack. Now I have the iPhone adapter on here. So I can plug this into my iPhone and mic up myself and someone I'm interviewing. And uh, it's great, it just works really well. You get really good audio that way. So that's always in there, just in case I have a good interview opportunity. Then I, bring along this. This is the Marpak Rome, which is a sound machine. And uh, Marpak makes those baby sound machines that you've all seen lots of times. And this is their small travel version. That's what it sounds like. It's adjustable. You can change the volume. There's a few different sound settings on it. And I love this thing. It's rechargeable, it doesn't have batteries, and here's the charger for it, and you can plug it in with USB, and this thing's great. So I bring that, I bring a peanut. Why do I bring a peanut? Because sometimes if I have a long flight or travel, or if I'm working out, or if maybe I worked out the day before I flew or whatever, I get stiff and sore, so my neck or my upper back or lower back might get sore. So I use this peanut, and I'll roll around with it, either put it on the wall and you know roll out uh, knots and things, or I'll put it on the floor and kind of roll around on it and loosen up my upper back, neck, shoulders. So this is just, I don't always need it, but sometimes when I need it, I'm so glad I have this thing. I occasionally will travel with this. This is a collapsible foam roller. If I have enough room in my luggage, I'll bring this too, and I use this every day. And you can see there, it's, uh, it's just a foam roller for rolling out your back, your legs, your shoulders, uh, just, one of my favorite things in the world is a foam roller. So this is a collapsible one made by a company called Brazen Life. It's also on Amazon and you can see it folds flat. So this thing's really cool. Okay, this is what I put my supplements in. I forget what it's called. Oh yeah, this is also called a Rome. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it in the show notes, like a supplement 
carrying case or something like that, but it has a bunch of sleeves and you can put each day or morning and evening supplements in here. There's a lot more uh, sleeves to this than I'm showing here now. And right now I've got melatonin and I've got magnesium, uh, which is what I've got in there right now is the Whole Foods 365 brand of magnesium. And magnesium is great if you get constipated when you travel. I don't usually, but just in case, it's great for that. And it's also great to help you sleep. So I keep some of that in there. And then melatonin is really just in case of emergency. Uh, if I'm going international, I definitely need melatonin, but I usually don't need it or use it. And then I'll slip a few tea bags in here too. So I've got some Jason Winters tea uh, in this uh, case as well. Okay. And then a couple supplements that I always travel with. I'm usually rotating between a lot of different brands, um, but the two that I almost always, always travel with are beta-glucan and vitamin D3. I mean, these are sort of beta-glucans for immune system support. Vitamin D3 also great for your immune system and lots of functions in the body. These are both from my friends at Better Way Health. And so these are usually in this pack. And I might have other stuff in there too, like curcumin or whatever supplements I happen to be taking at the time. Okay, so next up uh, in the supplement department is vitamin C. Now, there's a really good high-dose vitamin C formula. My favorite right now is called Sufficient C. You can see that. And I don't bring the whole container. What I'll do is I'll put, I don't know, a few tablespoons in uh, a zip, a small Ziploc bag and travel with that. So this is also kind of like in case of emergency. So if I start to feel a little run down while I'm traveling, then I'll pound the vitamin C, high dose vitamin C. So I'll take, you know, usually about eight grams at a time and I'll take eight grams, which in this case is going to be um, uh, about four scoops, uh, and which I think is about four, equivalent of about four teaspoons, but could be wrong on that because this has its own scooper. But anyway, I take about eight grams every few hours. And uh, this works amazingly well at squashing vitamin, uh, squashing any kind of cold and flu symptoms before they just become full blown in your body. Okay, and then I've got this old relic from an old uh, Swiss Army luggage, which has like my toiletries in it. Everyman Jack deodorant, uh, Tom's travel size fluoride free toothpaste, this is like my one hair product that I use. It's called uh, 1821 Man-Made Pomade. And then Anne-Marie Skin Care. This is what I shave with. It's their phytonutrient cleanser. It smells amazing. It's hard not to eat it when, while you're shaving because it smells so good. And, uh, and then just a few other stuff like tweezers and Band-Aids and then a toothbrush. This is the, um, this is the brush with bamboo toothbrush that, that I got at Whole Foods at some point. So that's in the travel, little travel bag dot kit. That pretty much covers it for this suitcase. And I'll usually have a pair of shoes in here and some other stuff too. Um, but that's everything in that bag, pretty much. And these aren't typically in there. I just had it for, um, just to explain to you guys. All right, so that's bag number one. Bag number two is the air backpack and it's AER and I love this bag because it has a ton of pockets and you can put a lot of stuff in there and if you look at these two bags side by side you can get a lot of stuff in here and carry them both on so the AER bag has a shoe compartment in the bottom so you can keep your shoes separate if you need to do that it's got this pocket here which is where I usually put my charging cables things like that in the front in this pocket this is where I put my inflatable neck pillow but I actually don't use this for my neck. What I do is I use it for my back. Now, I don't have back problems, but airplane seats are the most uncomfortable seats created by mankind. They're terrible, right? I mean, if you ever sat in an airplane seat, I mean, they're like this. They're completely concave. So what I do is I'll just partially inflate this and just slip it behind my low back. And it just makes the seat a thousand times more comfortable. Just having a little bit of back support just feels so good. So um, that's why I travel with this. And again, it's, it's one that you just, you know, hop on the plane, blow it up for a second, and then throw it behind me. And it makes a huge difference, especially on flights that are like three, four, five, six hour flights or longer. Like this will change your life. Okay. 
So that goes in the front. And then in, in, this has got another big compartment with lots of different pockets in it for whatever. I always travel with some Lara bars. Like these are the organic Lara bars. Um, and I love Lara bars because they only have like four or five ingredients. Like for example, this one, uh, this is the um, blueberry lavender hemp. And here's what's in it. Dates, almonds, apples, hemp seed, blueberries, lavender oil. And that's it. It's all organic. So I uh, usually have four or five or six or whatever, a, a handful of Lara bars for snacking on the plane or in, in a car, in the Uber, like wherever if I'm feeling a little hungry. And then I'll just throw whatever random other stuff I need to in here. There's just a bunch of little pockets in here that are great for that. And then the main compartment, I'll throw more clothes in there, jackets, dress shirts, doesn't matter. There's an interior like hidden pocket that you can put your passports in or whatever. And then on the back of it, oh yeah, there's one, a couple other cool features of this, of this pack. It's got a side pocket for your water bottle. It's got a zipper, small zipper pocket right here in the top for glasses. And this is actually my favorite pocket because when I'm going through airport security, what I'll do is I'll put my phone, my, um, my wallet, my keys, like all my stuff that's on me, even my watch sometimes, I'll just throw it in this little pocket, let it run through the scanner, and then just get it all out and put it back on me. So that little pocket's great for that. And then on the back of this is the laptop and iPad pocket. And I actually bring my own separate laptop bag. Now, this might seem a little bit redundant, but if I'm in an event, uh, I like to, you know, I like to travel really light. So I use this pack. So I've got my laptop in here, right? This is an iPad, um, uh, actually, sorry, not not that. I, this is a MacBook. Super thin. Love to travel with this. And then in the front pocket, this is also. I'll, I'll throw these two big bags over in the overhead bins in the airplane, and I'll just pull this one out and put it under my seat. So I've got my laptop in there, and then I might have a book in here, and just other random stuff that I use on the airplane. So <laughs> this is the fun part. Uh, I'm super paranoid about getting sick when I travel, right? It really, it's really important that I don't get sick when I'm traveling because I've got to speak in an event, I've got to meet a bunch of people, maybe I'm gonna be on television or do an interview. And so I'm ultra paranoid about not getting sick. So what I do is when I get on the plane, here's what I use to, to keep, keep myself germ free. I use an organic hand sanitizer. This happens to be a company called EO and it's sweet orange spray. Uh, funny story, I was on a flight, um, <laughs> I was on a flight one time and I had a different brand of hand sanitizer and I was sitting next to this really big, like muscular, like tough guy who had tattoos and everything. And, and so I sprayed a little hand sanitizer or whatever. It was like kind of getting settled in my seat and he was like, he's like, what is that? Is that eucalyptus? <laughs> and it was, and I was like, how did this super tough macho guy recognize the eucalyptus smell in my hand sanitizer? I don't know. Okay, here's what else is in my bag. So I, for a couple years now, I guess, I've been wearing a mask when I fly. Because uh, when you're in an airplane, germs are floating all over the place. You're in this confined, uh, confined space with a bunch of people and you don't know who's sick and what they've got. And so I wear this. I wear this mask on the airplane, which I know freaks people out. But uh, I don't care because I don't want to get sick. Now, so I've worn this mask for a couple of years and the reason I bought it was because I had gotten sick on multiple trips and I was just like, I'm sick of this. Like I'm sick of getting sick. And so I was like, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna wear this like so many people do in uh, Japan and China and all, and all over Asia, you see this if you travel over there. So um, this is made by a company called uh, Cambridge mask company that, and they have a bunch of colors and patterns and like really fun stuff. And I, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't get the black one cause it is a little scary. <laughs> all right. So since then I've also discovered these, now these are crazy. These are in nose air filters. And I've, I've used these on a couple trips uh, just recently. So these are little tiny, air filters. 
that actually go inside your nose. Now, I'm going to put them in and show you how they work. Okay, so take a look here. So they go like this. They go up in your nose like that. And once they're up in there, like you really can't tell that they're in there, right? Look. <laughs> and so there's a tiny little like piece of clear rubber right there, but most people wouldn't even notice that you're wearing these things. Now my nostrils might look a little bit flared out because I've got them in, but uh, I'm totally geeked out about these things. And so if you wanna do something discreet, like not wear a mask, you can buy these in-nose air filters, okay? And uh, I'll post a link below to the name of the company because I actually forgot the name of them. Uh, and there's two different brands here that I bought both brands to try them out. Okay, so a um, couple other tips while you're on the plane. Uh, turn the air on. A lot of people think they don't want the air on because it's circulating germs. The, the uh, air filtration system in airplanes is actually really good. Um, and so, uh, what you want to do is you want to turn the air on, but don't blow it in your face. Have it blow down in front of you. And what that's doing is it's like creating a shield, like a force field. So if someone in front of you sneezes, those particles are floating, you know, over the tops of people's heads toward you, right? And as soon as it hits your air, it's going to go whoosh, and it's going to blow it out of your way. So that's a big tip. And also they found that if you sit near the window, you are less likely to catch a cold on a flight than if you sit on the, in the aisle seat because germs are traveling down the aisle or as people are walking up and down these aisles. Airborne viruses, bacteria, things like that. So uh, the mask, the in-nose filters, turn the vent on and sit in the window seat. All right, what else is in the bag that might be helpful to you? Uh, this charging cable is awesome. I lost it and I bought another one just like it. This is made by a company called Nomad and it's a USB charger, but it has three different options here, right? So you've got lightning, you've got, um, and these other things I don't know the names of technically, but anyway, you can charge three different types of devices with this one charger. So I always use this uh, when I travel. I mean, it just stays in my travel bag and it's coming handy. I love it. And it's got its own little um, cinch deal on it. Okay. What else in the travel bag? Some pens. I've got some uh, lip balm from Anne Marie Skincare that I love. And then I've got three different pairs of headphones. This is ridiculous. And I know it is, but I, I, you know, I don't have any other option. It's Apple's fault. So the Apple AirPods are awesome. I love these. This is what I use, but the batteries don't last that long. So when the battery's dead, then I may switch to the regular Apple earbuds or ear pods or whatever they're called. These are the AirPods, I think. And then these are the ear pods, whatever. But then I have this other pair. So this is a stupid Apple thing. So this is gonna be an Apple rant for a second. This is the pair that comes with the iPhone and it has this jack on it. But if I wanna watch something on my laptop, I have to either use the Bluetooth or use the old pair with the eighth inch jack. So anyway, that's why I travel with three different pairs of headphones, which I wish I didn't have to do. Uh, but the Apple iPhone and laptop have two different jacks that are not compatible. Okay. What else in the travel bag? I think this is the last thing uh, worth mentioning here is blue light blocking glasses. So these glasses are made by a company called Life Art and they sell them on Amazon. So I wear these at night um, when uh, after sunset. So I want to block blue light from entering my eyes because blue light interferes with your body's production of melatonin. And in order to get a good night's sleep, you need a lot of melatonin. And you, melatonin is one of the most powerful anti-cancer hormones in your body. So melatonin is good. You want melatonin circulating as much as possible. And so I wear these at night. They're not tinted, but they actually do block blue light. And so they, and they look okay. They're not just sort of like the dorky orange ones that you might see people wearing, of which I also have a pair. <laughs> so these are like my travel pair. And they typically go from the top of this bag here. Right there. So, as you can see, this is everything in my travel bag. I slipped the laptop bag 
in the back compartment here. Easy to pull in and out. This bag plus my roller bag. That's it, I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching. I'll post links in the show notes below this video to all the products I talked about, and let me know what you think. See ya.